the competitive position the UK is in uh, is a worrying one, even if British Volt goes ahead. I mean, you know, we have one battery production facility, the Envision uh, facility next to that Nissan factory in Sunderland. Even with British Volt, we would still be, I would say, behind where we need to be. I think people will be aware we need 10 by 2040. You compare that to the German situation, five up and running, four in production, further five, I believe, in, in discussion. So for a sector which everyone agrees is of fundamental importance, I mean, nearly a, a million jobs, 10% of, of British exports. If we are serious about retaining those jobs and building on them and providing future generations with, with the good living they, they deserve, I, I think you've got to be worried about this. And I think what is so specific about the gigafactory situation is, I mean, let's be clear, this requires a, a relationship between the state and the private sector. That There's no gigafactory that I'm aware of that hasn't had some form of public incentive package. People are clamouring around the world to deliver, you know, this sector for themselves and, and the good jobs uh, and sort of industrial prowess and, and, and significance and wealth that comes with it. We're not on the pitch. I mean, I, I just don't think we're on the pitch at all. And given that we know there's a massive market for this. We know that the terms of the, of the trade and cooperation agreement with the EU require you know, batteries to be made in the UK. This is the value of the vehicle. There's no way I can see that we can have an automotive sector if we're not serious about battery production. I am extremely worried about the future. And I, I think you know there's a great offer here. But we as a country have to be on the pitch on this if we do care. And, and I want the chance to be the business secretary to get deals like this over the line, because I think this is essential. This for me is what industrial strategy is fundamentally about. It is the relationship between the state and the private sector and the long term objectives and aspirations we've got. Are they in place to get investments like this over the line? So people do want to base their investment decisions here. And I'm going to be making a fuss about this if the government doesn't honour its promises.